this is my fun little project. I did this this summer. This is, anybody can do this, this is fun. Um, this is one of those planters you get at Walmart. It was like $19. And this is my fish pond on my porch. It's, um, I think it's like 20 gallons. And it's got, this is a, this is the filter that's on the back. That was like 19. The planter was 19. And the filter was like maybe 16, 19 dollars. Um, the parrot feathers is what the plants were called. Um, there's one water hydrant that was like six dollars. The parrot feathers, I think, were like two dollars and eighty-nine cents for a big handful. And I found these at Walmart. They're um, I don't know what the technical word is. It begins with an L. But they're called, I looked them up, they're called Creeping Jenny. And I put them in a couple of different things. And I found out that it's an aquarium plant. It, they grow underwater. So I bought, I went to Walmart and I bought a whole bunch of them to put my fish tank. And um, so far they're doing okay. There's fish in there, actually. I can, yeah, there, there are goldfish in there. There's three. They'll be up there. Um, the little fountain I got at oh, I got on eBay. It's just it came from like China. It was like four or five dollars, something like that. And uh, yeah, there are the goldfish. There's just like three medium-sized fantails in there. And in the winter time, I'm gonna just put this in the drag it in the house and plug it in, put it under a window so it gets light. Um, but the, the plants, the creeping jenny, that's what they call it, they were at Walmart. They were $1.97 a pot. And if you buy this stuff, any aquarium plants, if you get them at a pet store, it's like 5 or $6 for, you know, a small amount. And they get a big, you know, a big handful of this stuff. For two dollars at Walmart, and what I did was I took them out of. Well, I, I hung these up. I used an acrylic plant hanger. You can't barely see it. It's it, it was in the bath section, the bath supplies, and then this one I just took a piece of wire and just poked a hole in a pot and hung the pot right in the water. Um, there's also some down in there. There's um, banana plants I got on eBay. Um, but this this stuff, I just cut the bottom of the pot out so that the roots could hang down. And I just I just suspended the, the plant pots with the plant in it and let them hang over the edge. And hopefully it's going to do well. <laughs> It's a lot cheaper than buying aquarium plants. They want like, like that water hyacinth. It was like six dollars, five ninety nine for one water hyacinth. And I don't think they survive during the winter. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's this is good for a deck or a patio or just, I have a small porch. It's not really big, so I wanted a a fish pond and fish ponds are really 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 expensive. So and I like running water just to hear like a fountain. So this is nice. <laughs> this is entertaining as well. But it's something that anybody can do. This is just one of those plastic planters, like one of those big terrain things at Walmart. And it doesn't have a hole in it. So you have to make sure you get one that doesn't have a hole in it. When I mounted the filter on the back though, I had to cut a little bit of the, you can't really see it, but I had to cut some of the rim with a razor, well, my Dremel tool, and get it to fit. But after it fit, everything was good. 
So I don't know how long this thing will last. I mean, I'll bring it in during the winter, but it's it's not very expensive and relaxing. <laughs> Anything's an improvement in here.